Hello and welcome to this Moho Crafts tutorial for how to tie a macrame square knot and make yourself a lovely keyring or bag charm. If you've bought one of our kits then you'll have everything that I'm going to show you now. Um, if not, go and get finding stuff. Alright, let's get on with it. Here is what you're going to need to make your square knot keyring uh, bag charm there. So we'll need two, two times one metre of t-shirt yarn, it doesn't have to be t-shirt yarn, you could use rope, you could use cord, whatever, it's much easier if they are different colours. So we've got those there, you will need some form of key ring, it doesn't have to be the lobster clasp, it could be just a normal ring, whatever you fancy, um, and you'll need a pair of scissors and some masking tape. Now if you've got a macrame board or a pin board or a um, like garden kneeling pad or anything, you can pin onto that. I'm going to show you how to do it with masking tape today. Um, so let's get everything out of the way. So what we're going to do first of all, we want to get a short end and a long end. So if you take your two pieces um, of cord and hold them together and fold them in half. So I've got my fold end at this end. And then fold them in half again like this. Okay. You then want to hold on to one of each colour at this top end. So I've got uh, a black and a white and then we put them down there. Now this bit here... This fold is where we're going to attach to our key ring. So we should have one end that is one quarter the total length and another end that is three quarters the total length. So I'm just going to take the first one, and fold that there and keep that in its place. Now we're going to attach, most macrame projects start with um, a, a lark's head knot. So we're going to start with that one. Let's just get that out of the way. So I take my loop of my cord. I'm holding my key ring up, I push my loop through there and then I fold it over and spread it out a bit, put my fingers through that loop and then pull, 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 pull all the way through. And so on this side you should have two little legs and on the other side you've got a little bean. So then what we want to do is do the same with the other colour, but what I'd really like to have is I'd like to have my, my beans on the same side and I'd like the two short cords in the middle. So here's what we do. So I'm holding it so that that's going to sit next to it there. Do exactly the same as I did before. Push it through that way. So I've got my loop there. Fold my loop over the top and spread it out. Put my fingers through and pull, 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 pull. And what we should then have is we've got our leggies on that side there and we've got the beans on that side and we've got the short bits in the middle together lovely so what we're going to do now is i'll show you how to fasten it down so we get our masking tape if you've got if you're using pins and pinning it to something just pin through those bits there so take just two bits of masking tape we use masking tape not sellotape so that it doesn't uh, mark the surfaces that you're sticking it onto. Sellotape can do a bit more damage than masking tape. Let's press it down nice and firm. And we're then going to tape these two down. It's just a little bit easier if this is your first macrame project. So I'm just going to put a tape and just stretch them a little bit. Don't stretch them too much because they'll twang back. And we don't want that. Okay. So these two in the middle are called our filler cords. We're going to work around those. These two around the edges are our working cords. So when we're working in two different colours, you're always going to start with the same colour. So I know I'm always starting with white. When you're doing it in the same colour, uh, it's a little bit uh, different, but I will show you how to decide which side you're starting on. So a square knot is made up of two moves, a left pass and then a right pass. So we're going to start with the left. So we take our cord on the left and we make a number four across the middle two. So number four and then leave that down there. Okay, number four. I then take the one on the right and I push, I lie it over one, I thread it underneath the middle two and then I'm going to bring it up and out of this loop over here, not down and through, up and out like that Then pull them until they're about the same tension and then we're going to pull, pull, pull and slide it up to the top and pull until you feel the stretch go like that. Okay, that's the first half of your first square knot done. We're then going to do the same but starting on the other side. So we make a backwards number four, starting with the white one there. Take the one on the left. Uh, yep, <laughs> don't know my left and right very well. Go over one, under two, 
up and out of the tunnel pull 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 and what you should see is that you get the same color going across in the middle and then the same color coming down the edges so we start again over here now when we're teaching this in classes we go right make your number four and then we lie this over the bridge under the dual carriageway and pull it up and out of the tunnel so it's good for learning your highway code as well as macrame so then i'm i always start with white i know on this one so i go make backwards number four over the bridge oh under the dual carriageway up and out of the tunnel pull 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 so then again we start on the left side number four over the bridge under the dual carriageway up and out of the tunnel pull 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 and then we'll finish that square knot off there with number four over the bridge under the dual carriageway up and out of the tunnel now if you're doing this in all the same color and you get to and you go oh i've no idea what side i'm meant to start on now look for the lowest down bean so these are beans down the side so look for the side that's got the lowest bean and that's the side that you're going to start from so we'll carry on and do some more Right, so I'm going to stop here because I'm sort of running out of bits down here. You can carry on going, but you need to go and carry on until you've got at least sort of 15 centimetres left on these and maybe about five centimetres left on this. So you can see that we've got all the same colour down the middle and all the same colour down the edges and you can't see any of the filicoids. If you can see any of the filicoids between your knots, you can just give it a squidge up like that or pull them apart. I've unpulled it now, that's foolish. Um, or uh, you just need to sort of pull them a bit tighter and squidge them up a bit when you're tying them. So we're going to tie this finishing knot down here now. We're just going to do a little overhand knot around this one. So it's a bit like tying a tie. So what we do is we take the one on the right and lie it across and go over onto the left hand side. And then I'm going to put my finger here and hold these two down. I should probably do it with the other hand. And then I'm going to poke these two and pull them underneath. So they've gone around and underneath there. So I've got a nice little loop on here. What I'm going to do now is take these two ends. doesn't matter that they're not quite the same. And I'm going to poke them down through that loop. Just pull, get rid of uh, some of the slack. And just tighten them up one by one. Put your fingers and your thumb there so that the knot doesn't sit too low down. And you can get it to sit exactly where you want it to at the bottom of your square knots pull 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 if you put them the wrong way in two ends will sprut up and two ends will sprut down which might be what you're going for i don't know right so when we've tied that then we can release the tape um squidge it out of there look and then so we get our scissors and we just oh masking tape chaos and just give it a snippy snippy snip snip lovely jubbly let's get rid of that it's not very attractive is it so if we look on this side you've got all your horizontal lines are white there and on that side they're all black oh it's like magic do, 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 do. right i hope that has helped flip it over um and that you're now a macrame expert all right i'll see you soon Bye bye <laughs>